Sound check. One, two, one, two. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It is free pizza, free vodka time. What's happening? It's Vaughn Joseph coming at you live and direct from Los Angeles. Psych. I'm in London. But in LA, we got my main man, country boy, Jonas Garvin in the house. What's happening, bro? What it is, what it is, and I do appreciate you representing the uh, Sweet Home Carolina. A lot of people know the song is Sweet Home Alabama, but if you grew up in North Carolina, we actually change the word whenever we do karaoke. <laughs> or karaoke. I don't know how you pronounce it anymore. I, I have no idea. Let's get it. Episode one. This is it. We're doing it. Yeah. We're doing yeah, it. We're, we're, I mean, we're actually, I can't believe we're really doing it, Harry. We're doing it. <laughs> yeah, we're doing it. It's going to be a, a weekly thing for us, uh, and even next week, um, I'll be from Vegas because I'm playing Vegas this week, but, um, yeah, you know, I saw it, that. it's going to be cool. So we got it all set up so we can do this as long as I got my phone and, and I'm not uh, passed out. We can, <laughs> we can do it every week. You know, it might be actually kind of fun if you are passed out and whoever's there with you, who just picks up your phone, picks up the podcast. So that would be actually kind of a neat little spin, um, going forward on the show. Well, now that you, now that you mention it, uh, the, my partner in crime, who you know well, who lives next door, is, is on his way over for the festivities today because you know it's football Sunday, of yeah. course. Um, so yeah, that might be. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. He's gonna be like, uh, like in Greece. I want. He'll be my second. You know, like when Kanicki hits his head before they got a race at Thunder Road, <laughs> and uh, so he'll be my second. So when I drop dead from too much Jack Daniels in the morning, uh, watching the stupid Bears, we'll get to that later. But uh, yeah, you just you just you know Jeremy will pick up the phone and continue. Now the only problem with that is he may need a second as well because he's usually right there with me shot for shot. You've oh, been here. Oh, cool. <laughs> Maybe one of the girls. You know. <laughs> you can, you know. Nothing wrong <laughs> with know, having the, the ladies on the show. <laughs> exactly. Allah, for sure. I'm all about that. So um, yeah, let's just crack on, man. I was I got a news alert earlier today that uh, Richard Gere is apparently expecting. An- the child he's like almost 70 years old i think he said well you know i mean yeah and even and, and how old's the chick that he got pregnant i don't know she? I 14 I don't know. probably oh come on that's just a, that's a rape, um, rape that, joke but no but i mean <laughs> the thing is yeah exactly um well it was either that or the gerbil joke which everybody does so i figured i'd, I'd go somewhere else with it yeah, but it was um played out played no, out you, you, you get that a lot with these old guys with younger girls they, they seem like they want to have another kid I mean, look look at my little brother. He's going to be 15 uh, at the end of the month. I'm 43, dude, and that's I don't know what it is. You know, this if it makes a guy feel young or something to still. Make I don't a think kid, I don't like think the, they they want another kid. I think they want sex, and they just end up getting somebody pregnant, and then they really don't have much say. And the woman's like, "Yeah, look, I'm keeping it." So. Um, okay, on that, there's no. I don't understand <laughs> accidental pregnancy in case. If you, if you did not go to 10th grade health class, let me tell you how this works. If you blow a load at a chick, there's a chance she's going to get pregnant. Oh, my so, God. Hide the children. Well, I'm just saying, you know, you just, you can, and we, oh, she accidentally got pregnant. What do you mean accidentally? It's not It's not somebody came in your blind spot, you know, at an intersection. It's, you know, well, you, were, you, were you know there. what? Sometimes these women are out there hustling, man. I know, um, you know, they might tell you that they're on the pill, but that doesn't mean that they're on the pill. So sometimes you need to protect your neck. You know what I'm saying? So, well, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's called, it's called uh, okay, I know we got to keep it PG, some, coitus interruptus. <laughs> is, that, is that the uh, the correct term? It comes from the Latin for, I mean, pulling out? I don't have to. Uh-huh. I have to keep it clean. You don't have to keep it clean. You say whatever you want, dude. It's all good. So yeah, I just I'm, if people tell me they're actually pregnant, give me give me a break. Yeah, you know? but know. you know at least he's financially he can he can leave. You know the guy's 127 years old, but he'll get to see <laughs> the kid go to preschool and then he'll cack. But the kid will be well taken care of financially, so that's okay. So you if know? you're not familiar with what free pizza and free vodka is, what we do here is we promise you stuff and we probably won't deliver, so you'll probably leave dejected and disappointed at the end of the show. Um, so be prepared to like be disappointed. This is a perfect podcast to listen to if you are uh, having trouble getting to sleep. So um, just give us a listen, and um, that's what's happening with free pizza and free no, vodka. I, no, don't don't say that because I'm going to tell you right now since it's our premiere episode, I'm going to go out and say I'll tell you what anybody because unlike you, I I come through on free vodka. We can talk about that later, but. Um, Anybody that comes to any of my shows here in L.A., whether it be L.A., Vegas, wherever, I'm on the road. It doesn't matter. Or maybe in Spain. Um, 
I tell you what, if you come up to me after the show and say, hey, man, I heard you on the podcast, I will buy you a shot of vodka or your choice. Nice. Sound good? Hey, well, I'm going to have to start as following as, you like the Grateful Dead. As long as that dead. choice is, is well. You know, as long as that choice is well <laughs> vodka. You know. As long as they don't have to reach good... too high for that stuff, it's all good. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, but, you know, I, I hate when people do that. When you Say you're out with some buddies, right? Okay? And, and each of you happens to be drinking a, a bottle of Budweiser, right? You're just having a, a couple of beers. And then, you know, you offer your buddy, hey, man, let me, let me buy you a beer or buy you a drink. And then instead of, oh, now they don't want Budweiser anymore, now we're going to go with the Cadillac Margarita. It's yeah. like, dude, you were just, like, now that I'm paying. Everybody's cheap until it's not time for them to pay the bill. Time to pull out the guns and get them out of here. <laughs> See, I, yeah, no, I, I'm just the opposite. It's, it's only money. They'll print more, you know. <laughs> Everyone could use a little more debt. Everyone can use a little bit more debt. So this guy. You're not American um, if you're not in debt. Yeah, this guy I was, I was reading in Quincy, Illinois, apparently he crashed his car into a river trying to give himself uh, oral sex. Is it really that hard up in Quincy, Illinois? You know, there's sex dolls everywhere. There's prostitution. There should be more options. And I didn't even know that you could give yourself oral sex. He must be packing. Maybe that's his problem. He's well, I think, breaking them women I up. I think, yeah, I see the funny thing about that. That's in Quincy, Illinois. I thought that guy lived in Nantucket, you know, <laughs> because uh, there once was a man from Nantucket. Yeah. Uh, and, you, you know, but, uh, yeah, I just – and why do you – I mean, with and the thing is with all these don't drive distracted commercials, what are you doing trying to blow yourself? You guys had a hurricane. You were talking about Sweet Home Carolina. There was a hurricane in was it North Carolina, South Carolina. Was it Hurricane Florence? Yeah, and it is uh, tearing a new asshole in the town of Wilmington, mm. which I have a, I've only been there once. Mm. I grew up in Charlotte, but I've only been to Wilmington once. I'll get to that story in a minute because uh, it's a really good one. And uh, – um, yeah, dude, there's like, uh, like just going crazy. And I remember in Charlotte, it's like three hours inland. And when I went through Hurricane Hugo in 88 or 89, whatever it was when I was a kid, it screwed up the city bad three hours inland. So I can only imagine what's going down at the coast. But, um, if you want to know my views on people in hurricane areas, please just head over to jonasgarvin.com and <laughs> click the video that says hurricane people, because I don't, I don't get the. Let's stick around, you know. I, I just I don't understand it. Hmm. If you live at the beach and certain death is coming, a piece of plywood on your window is not gonna freaking save you. Hmm. Get the freak out. Yeah, her once again that video is at jonascarbon.com. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And uh, you know, and then on the news I was watching some alternative news. I watched some uh, uh Democracy Now where they're talking about like, you know, nobody's talking about global warming with these hurricanes. I'm like Okay, um, you can't blame something on something that was there before. You know, we have had hurricanes since the beginning of time. Hmm. It's not global. I mean, I, don't get me wrong. I believe in global warming. I believe it's real. It's going on. Um, but hurricanes were there a long time ago. Yeah. Well, you know what I'm saying? a lot of it's times like people try to spin, spin, spin stuff to their suit their agenda because, yeah, hurricanes were were there and and global warming is a thing. But the thing of it is, is you have to remember that people say it's man made global warming is where I have the issue. It's the same thing with with immigration. Yeah, I don't have a problem with people migrating to the United States. I migrated to England, so the problem is is illegal immigration. And there's never really that talk about that. It's always it's always spun or or positioned in a way where it's it's kind of left uh, open. I don't, I don't appreciate. Well, that. I look at it like this: immigration. I look at it like this, dude. I I go nightclub rules on the immigration thing, and and I go nightclub rules. That being said, when you were underage and you had a fake ID and you were able to get into the club, cool. But if you got caught and kicked out. That's just how it works, mm. you know, and, and if, if you come here illegally and you get through with a fake ID or whatever you got, okay, great, you go to work. <laughs> but if you get caught, you got to fucking go out and wait till you're 21. Mm. It just, you know what I'm saying? Don't get pissed. You know, you're not supposed, you know, everybody knows. And don't give me this. I'm from a small village. I didn't know you could just come here. I'm like, well, the fact that you had to dig a tunnel might have, you know, could, could that give you a little warning sign that maybe this isn't on the up and up, that uh, you're being sm you're being sewn into a passenger seat in Tijuana to get through this, this, this line here? Didn't give you the light bulb that goes, maybe I'm doing something wrong here. 
you know? Yeah, I know a lot of people, they just simply, they, you know, we know why they're coming in, but they can't afford to do it legitimately. You know, it cost me thousands to come to England. And then after I got divorced, it cost thousands to stay. You know, it's not cheap. So, um, no, I get that. But, you know, and, and, and the thing about that, too, is I, I get it. You want to come here. But the funny thing about it to me is like, think of all the screwed up, fucked up shit we got in America. We got a shit ton of problems in this country. Hmm. It's, you know, we've got, we got so many problems in America. So what I'm thinking is like, but there's all these people risking their lives to get here to this fucked up place. Don't get me wrong. I love America. Don't, I don't want to say like I'm anti-American. But you got all these people risking everything to get to fucked up America. So that tells me, just how fucked up is your country? Like, where you want to come here? Mm. You know, you like, this is, this is better than what you got going on. No, it's really And I'm bad. like, you know, you know, like, Wow. You know, it's people are like bad. trying to get to Flint. Sorry, I had to throw that in there, dude. Man, I, you know, because like, well, it wouldn't be a pizza man without a dip always the with the Flint stuff. We got to get Jonas up out of here for that one, man. <laughs> Done, baby. Fucking out of here. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> they're still what, thirsty what up in gun? Flint. I thought guns were illegal in they're, London. They're still a, a hungry over there. Thirsty, man. <laughs> So we got to give them some love. So, yeah, no, I get it. It's expensive and it's where you are is, is tough and you want to, you know, go somewhere better, try and try and make a better life. But I know a lot of people that come legitimately and then work their butts off and then send their money back to um, back to home. Like I used to work with a guy when I lived in Detroit named Anise, and he used to be uh, sending his money back to Lebanon, I think, and he had a big old castle at home. <laughs> he would go home every summer, yeah. you know, and off the money that he made at uh, Joe Muir's Seafood. Shout out to Joe Muir's and uh, Jeffrey Browning and Chick and those cats. And, yeah, it's, you know, I, yeah, I get it, man. Everybody, you know, wants to come here and, and, and stuff like that, but there's a process you have to go through. It's, it's just, like I said, if you get, or if you get caught sneaking into a, uh, a place, like a concert or whatever, you're asked to leave. Yeah, it's kind of like you when you go and sit in a better seat, and then there comes the usher with somebody with the real ticket. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, the seat ain't for exactly. you. You got you to get the step in, bro. And, and you know what's funny is, is all these people that are just like, you know, we got to have some sort of border security because it, we just we just have to. But these people that are like, no, there's an open border policy. I don't understand that either because if some stranger walked into your home, you'd ask a few questions. You know what I'm saying? You just, you just don't, I don't see these people, yeah, come on, yeah, unlock my doors. No, it's, there's a big no trespassing sign on there for a reason. You know, it's, it's like the people that sneak into my building here in Hollywood, like right, these crackheads, which is weird because Hollywood is just, I'm sure you, you're well over this, you still live here. Hollywood is just the only place on the planet that's like there is no middle class. Hmm. It's either you're making it or you're not because it's the only place you'll see like a Ferrari, a Bentley, and a Lamborghini parked all next to each other with some dude digging in the trash right next to him. You know, right. just, that's what we had. And these, these crackheads are all over and they, they sneak into these buildings and sleep in stairwells and stuff like that. And it's expensive to live here. So I'm like, dude, you need to get the break out of my stairwell. I'm mm. sick of tripping on your smelly ass when I'm leaving. <laughs> Well, that exists everywhere, and it's uh, it's not going anywhere, is it? So, it's just no. Like, it, it does exist everywhere, but it's more prevalent here. It actually, actually, it's just more annoying here because we spend so much money to live here. You know, right? I mean, if I lived in Flint, I know I'm sorry, but okay, that's it with the Flint <laughs> stuff for the rest of the day, not till next week. But if I was living somewhere where I could where I could rent a a big apartment for five hundred a month, I'd be like, cool, crackhead. Take a, take a nap in the stairwell, you know? I wouldn't be so upset. Yeah, if you live anywhere in L.A. and your rent is under, like, $1,000 a month, you live in, in danger. You're not in L.A. Your life is in trouble. <laughs> you yeah, can, exactly. You can't leave your house at night if your rent is under, no. like, 1200 really, night, a month. You can't leave. Yeah, you can't leave during the day. And, uh, and even if you get out to these areas where it's cheap, like in the desert and in the inbred empire, or actually the inland empires, uh, the proper term, but I call it the Inbred Empire. It's a bunch of crazy tweaker killers. So, like, it's not even safe to go out there. And yeah, well, people, that, that's guys. where most of the people I hear are moving out to, like, um, uh, well, I can't remember the name of these places, but, the, yeah, in, like, about the no, hour like or Palmdale, so. Lancaster, yeah, that's it right there. Asperia. Palmdale and Lancaster. Oh, dude. Those are the two. And, dude, and, <laughs> and they talk about how they can get a, a bigger house for cheap, cheaper, which the thing is, 
you can, but at the same time, it's not that much bigger and it's not that much cheaper, but you spend four hours, five hours a day commuting if you live, or excuse me, if you work in LA. Mm. To me, it's just, you know, not not worth it. Yeah, I used to work with and, a guy uh, that did that. Yeah, I just, I, I, I know a lot of guys that do it, and I'm just like, that's great. And it's not like, it's not like you're getting a mansion out there. You know what I'm saying? It's not like, the, I've seen pictures of some of the houses. It's like, well, like, really? That's, you spend that much time on the freeway for that, huh? Mm. Like, okay, great. But, uh, yeah, no, it's just, it's nuts here. We don't pay for the real estate, we pay for the weather. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. You go there for the, no. what did they say? Dr. Dre said you go there for women, weed, and weather. Exactly. Yeah, because, you know, California knows how to party. <laughs> so, um, you got a, you said you had a, a Carolina story. Lay it on me. What do you got? Oh, yeah, Wilmington, right? So, um, I was visiting my mom and sister. Uh, one time and they wanted to go or my mom, my sister wanted to go to the beach and we get to Wilmington and we're partying. And, you know, this is back in the, in the, uh, in the cocaine days. And, um, I'm like, Hey, let's, let's get a half, half gram of cocaine to have fun with this what evening. What is going on? So, so she calls her buddy who lives there who's her hookup or whatever and uh she's like yeah i can get us a half for tonight he's like yeah no problem so we show up to the guy's house you know i'm thinking hey cool we'll get our little half gram or for 100 bucks and you know really good stuff whatever we're gonna get that and we'll, we'll go out and have some drinks and then that'll be that well then he comes out of the room with a half ounce of hmm. coke and i'm like what's that he's like that's what you wanted right half ounce i'm like no now for those of you who aren't good with the metric system <laughs> um a half ounce of Coke is uh, a lot more than a half a gram. <laughs> you know, you got to move that decimal point quite a bit. And it's the size of a baseball. And I'm like, what the hell am I going to do with that? We didn't want this. And he's like, well, fine then. I'll just give it back. And I'm like, well, let's let's slow down. Let's not, let's, you know, let's let's not uh, let's not jump to be hasty in any of these decisions here. Why don't we just hang on to it? And uh, of course, you get that great plan of my sister and I. Uh, uh, yeah, I got an idea. We're gonna sell a bunch of it, and we'll we'll party for free. Uh, I don't know if you've ever been. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, we sold it all right to ourselves, and uh, you know that was uh, that was Wilmington. The only Wait, time I've ever been to Wilmington. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? You guys went through a half ounce. Well, we had a lot of friends that night. You know what I'm saying? We had. We made a lot of good friends that night. Let me tell you, I couldn't name one person we met, but we met a lot of people and made a lot of friends. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. So, yeah, Wilmington's a good time. <laughs> Clearly, a chance to get there. The cocaine is really good, um, and and their uh, their their terminology is a little different than I'm used to. Half gram means half ounce. Just so you're, just so the listeners know, if you're ever in Wilmington, North Carolina, purchasing cocaine, be very clear at the amount you'd like. <laughs> and however, there are plenty of people that live there that will help you do with a half ounce of cocaine without chipping in on it. I think I'm still paying that off. And this is like 15 years ago. <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah, I didn't realize your sister was such an animal. I knew you were, but uh, back in the day, she's uh, she's uh, hasn't drank in quite a few years, and uh, she's actually like engaged and everything. And uh, yeah, we actually actually he came up and joined us all for the uh, Bears Packers uh, last season. We all went to Lambeau to see the Bears play the Packers. Uh, which, if you guys ever get a chance, I'm going to take football fans listening. Lambeau Field is sacred ground to an NFL fan, even though I'm a Bears fan and I hate the Packers. If you get a chance to go to Lambeau, I would say that was probably me, the top marquee place to ever see a football game that I've been to in my life. Mm. It was it was a great experience. So if you ever get a chance to go, because there's nothing else to do in Green Bay. Like you're driving there, we stayed in Milwaukee and took a, a limo over. Like it's just cornfield, 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 cornfield. Hey, Lambeau Field. That's all that's there. <laughs> And the entire town's there. It's it's not it's crazy. It's a blast. And uh, speaking of football, football, I'm not, you know, I'm not say but uh, yeah. So you're it's uh, that's got to be weird, like watching football in the middle of the night. <laughs> no, it's like it's like there. it's like every week watching the late game, like all night. 
is what Ugh. it's like. <laughs> That's got to be awful. Because me, I, I get up early. Even if I, you know, when I have gigs at night late, I'm still one of these guys. It's like, I think it's because I'm in my 40s now. Mm. I get up at like 6 a.m. for no reason. Wow. And, uh, but what's rad is, uh, uh, I don't know if you've ever been to Hawaii. Football there starts at 7 a.m. Mm. It's so awesome. Mm. You get up at 6, everybody's in the bars. You're done with your day, passed out by like 3 in the afternoon. It's perfect. Wow. Yeah, no, I've never watched any football that early. The only time I did is if maybe I had to record like that really late game that comes on really late and then uh, watch it the next morning or something. But even then, it's not 7 a.m. So, um, Are the Lions playing right now? I think they play at 9 o'clock, so they'll be on in about half an hour. I'm actually uh, got the Panthers. Oh, they are, they are the afternoon game because they're, they're playing at San Francisco. Yeah, watching the Panthers get uh, beaten down by the Falcons. Um, so all Good. my picks all my picks so far this week have just been an absolute debacle. Um, Cleveland is dismantling the Saints. <laughs> See, that's, why we're, that's why we're a good pair, because we're going to go like 6 and 109 this year between yeah, us. It's a nightmare. It's a nightmare this week. So um, I'm actually deciding it's about maybe potentially time to jump shit, man. Detroit, man, they've got a couple more games before I just say, you know, I like looking good in blue because it's my favorite color. But, you know, Carolina Panthers, I like Cam Newton, you know, so he's pretty good. I know they're losing. And that's a big dude. You know? We bumped into him at the Vons in San Diego. The dude is huge. Is he? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I like, like Cam Newton, so I might start following the Panthers, you know. I mean, I don't even like anybody on the Lions, so why am I following the Lions for if there's nobody on their team that I really that I really like? And it's like, you know, I get well, I'm from the I'm from the I'm from Detroit, so you're supposed to support your home team and all that. I get that, but how long am I supposed to support the team that's just like the loser team? You know, even when you had like well, the... because here's what's going to happen: the minute you jump ship, they'll go win the Super Bowl. Fine, good. And... Well, that then they can send me a thank you card and a new hat and you know, an <laughs> autographed Let's do jersey. Like George Carlin does. <laughs> it, it, George Carlin in his book talks about sports teams, and he's like, "Yeah, I watch sports, he's like, but only if my teams are winning." And he goes, "If they start losing, I just walk away. <laughs> and then when they start winning, I'll come back." <laughs> and uh, that's the way I kind of feel about the Bears after last Sunday. I don't even know if I want to talk about last Sunday's debacle, but um, man, the like, Bears. You know, the there was no like the Bears Cleveland debacle Tennessee. last week. Detroit game was a debacle. Matt Stafford throwing no, no, no. four interceptions a is a debacle. Uh, and I knew, I knew the minute that Aaron Rodgers came back in that game and he had that smirk, that Tom Brady smirk hmm. from the Super Bowl two years ago, and he and he buttons the chin strap and like it's over. The Packers are going to win this game, and. uh and everybody at the house was like, no, you're insane. The Bears are just kicking ass. And I'm like, I saw the look. He had the – it's the eye of the tiger, Mick. <laughs> well, you know, that's you why know. he's 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 um, the greatest on the field right now. I mean, I don't know if he's GOAT or not, but he's he's a damn good quarterback. You know, somebody uh, Instagram, on, on Instagram said, hey, you know, you're always welcome to join the pack. And I said, you know what? The, the day I joined supporting a team where people wear cheese on top of their heads, man, you can forget it. I'm not even watching it anymore after that. You know, it's it's like <laughs> you gotta be like the Bears fans. They wear the cheese graters on their head. Do they? <laughs> yeah, they're pretty rad. Um, but yeah, the, the thing is, uh, yeah, the Aaron Rodgers just it's just so, you know, he's so freaking good. So like mm. you hate him, but at the same time you you love watching him play. Well, you know, they're like whooping they're whooping Minnesota's ass right now, twenty to seven. So. Um, no way. Yeah, shout out to Green Bay Packers <laughs> beating down Minnesota. So um, we'll see what happens with that game. It's still early. I didn't even know oh, if Aaron Rodgers was back in. He didn't get injured last week or something like that. So he did, but he came back and now he's playing. And and another reason to hate him. And mm. uh, you know, it's it's like Tom Brady. I wanted to see him win that fifth ring because so I'd go back to hate him because I'd like to to witness that sports history. Right. You know, hey. I'm rooting for him. Get that ring number five. Now I can go back to hating you, your billions of dollars, your hot wife, and uh, you know, and the fact that the fact that he's like our age and still playing in the NFL, and I can barely do the treadmill for 25 minutes without keeling over and dying. Well, that's you know, why you're I mean, not what, an elite athlete. <laughs> oh shit! You do Runyon Canyon. How are you not able to do a treadmill or whatever for 20 minutes? I can do it. I just can't run on it. Uh, fair enough. Yeah, no, I, I hike up running, but it's slow. You know, I stop, have a couple of drinks. You so know, you guys are oh, so your Bears. You're playing Seattle today, and they lost last week tomorrow, as well, tomorrow or, or tomorrow night, Monday night football, or Monday night. And um, 
So so one of those teams is looking to pick up a win. They didn't. Uh, Chicago looked pretty good last week. They blew the lead. They choked, which is you know typical from a lot of teams. They just do that. You get comfortable with a big lead, and next thing you know. But um, young, young, inexperienced teams do that. Yeah. Um, well, you, know, you have a young, inexperienced team. You got a new coach. You got a brand new quarterback, right? New defense. Yeah. So you you got a young team. But, but Detroit and Matt Stafford shouldn't shouldn't be playing the way they played. So last week was an absolute. Yeah, they're they're kind of like the Cleveland of the NFC. They just constantly break your heart. Yeah. Anybody when you lose forty eight seventeen and give up thirty one points in the third quarter, you know that's that's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> you might be a Detroit Lions. <laughs> against a rookie quarterback too. He throws the first play yeah. of, of the game. He throws a pick six, and then they he just comes back to just systematically dismantle the Detroit defense and uh, the offense uh, as well just fell to pieces. How has Detroit even ever been to a Super Bowl? Uh, they didn't have Super Bowl when they actually won the national championship, but no, they've never been. Yeah. They, they had, they won some championships back when it was just the, you know, yeah, the, there was like, ten, there was like, there was like the, six teams playing, <laughs> you know, when if you yeah, sat exactly. close <laughs> enough to the, the field, they might ask you if you want to yeah. come play. So, yeah, exactly. It was, uh, I think, yeah, basically four teams, the NFC North, and uh, that's all they had. Or like, you know, these expansion teams we have now, like Carolina and, and Jackson and everything, Jeremy calls them fake teams. He's like, they're not real football teams. They weren't around in the 60s. They're, they're, they're imitation teams. Mm-hmm. But uh, Carolina's yeah, so, uh, an expansion I'm, team. I'm down with Carolina. Like I said, I'm just going to start supporting them. <laughs> at least any, you don't have to change the colors. I don't have cool. any problem with expansion teams. Maybe they should put a a, a a team in Flint so they can bring some revenue into town and get them some water. Yeah. <laughs> hey, starting for the Flint Bad Waters. It's uh, you know, uh, I I promised myself I wouldn't go there anymore. See, you keep bringing it up now. But by the way, I just want to interject here real quick. The Cleveland Browns are about to pull a Cleveland Brown, and by that I mean they've got a lead. What's his name? He's got picked off. And the Saints are marching down the field, and it's going to be because you know they get free beer in Cleveland if the if the Browns win, right? Right. <laughs> if, if you and so so basically this beer is going to go bad because Bud Light um, stocked all these refrigerators in the city of Cleveland, right? And they promised the city of Cleveland when the Browns win a game finally for the first time in I don't know how many what twenty years. Um, they're, they're, they're all these satellite locks, right? They're just going to push a button, and all these refrigerators are going to unlock, and everybody in Cleveland gets free Bud Light. And you know beer doesn't have a shelf like like, like whiskey or vodka or anything like that. So, like, I'm just – I feel bad for the city of Cleveland because uh, if they eventually do win, it's going to be never. Cleveland so is going to surprise you, man. I'm telling you, they're, they're going to be the sleeper team next year, I think. I thought Washington was two years ago, and the Jacksonville Jaguars was last year, but they did do all right last year, and I think they're going to come back and do, do some, some stuff this year. They're playing um, the Patriots today, so that should be a good game. They're both uh, 1-0, and um, yeah, that game starts Yeah, and, and about Tom an Brady hour. still looks like he could play another 10 years. Yeah, good for Gotta him. Gotta love hating that. Good for him. You know, yeah. Do just like know, Brett Favre and, uh, did. Why quit playing if you can still throw football? You don't have any concussions. Keep playing. Even if you're backup. He's he, another one you know. that uh, was a lot of fun to watch. Even though you hated him as a Packer, he was just so fun to watch. Oh, yeah, I hated and, Brett uh, Favre every Sunday, but I, I respected his game. He was a monster on the field. <laughs> Not only that, dude, but, like, he, he was – I would say more exciting to watch than a Tom Brady or Aaron Rodgers because of the gunslinger mentality where, like, if there's a minute left, he's going to win the game or lose the game. You know, there is no – so it's it's more fun to watch. It's kind of like – it's more like they're talking on the, on the pregame. Maybe you agree, maybe you don't. I think that these NFL teams need to be running more trick plays hmm. just for the fun of it. Now that's what college football is for, bro. They don't do that stuff in the Yeah, but college is lame. College, college football, football, man, is all right, off. man. I, I watched a game. I watched Auburn get beat up by uh, – they didn't get beat up, but they lost to Vanderbilt. And uh, I don't ever watch college football. I've never been a college football fan. You know, the players are never there, obviously, for longer than a few years and different <laughs> rules. one week of the year. You know, so I, 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 I don't – never really watched football college football i mean i was always a michigan fan obviously being from michigan and whatever and you know but um i I like college football now one because i'm deprived of football because i'm out here 
Two, because it's not the NFL, and I will actually support college football. I don't agree with everything they do, but I'm still like on some fuck the NFL stuff. Um, so I watch my NFLs on the internet. Did so, you take a knee this morning? So they don't get any money from me. Nothing, you know. So I'm not trying to get into any of this little social battle. I'm not a social justice warrior like a lot of people are. I think the NFL is foul, and I think everybody that's talking about, you know, whatever else about it, you know, just leave me out of it. But college football um, (laughs) is quick, it's fast paced, it's young kids, and I like the energy. Like, you know, if you when you go to a college football game and the you know the band is playing and them them drums are banging and like got a forty thousand eighteen nineteen year old kids screaming and stuff, that's dope, dude. That's a whole different level of energy to me. I think it's really cool. And no, I, I I respect all that, but to me, the problem I have with college is the, the, this, a lot of these teams shouldn't be playing each other. You know what I'm saying? Mm. It's 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 you know that you, you know uh, freaking Clemson should not be playing Devry. It just doesn't <laughs> you know it it's not <laughs> like hey today Clemson won 87 to one. It's like no shit. Yeah, there's always they those slack a, third division teams out there. But they I mean, played a school that teaches motorcycle repair for Christ's sake. <laughs> So they to me they need to evenly match and the, and the ranking bullshit. It's and 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 it's just like oh you, you won the game but you didn't win by enough points so you drop in the rankings and all that shit. Yeah, it's stupid. Well, they're and, working out know, some of those kinks because they've got playoffs now and you know they they're trying to 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 implement some new stuff so that it seems a little bit, uh, you know more balanced i guess man the falcons just scored another touchdown man the quarterback i know man. dude and the new orleans just oh. new orleans just scored right now now they're in the lead with two minutes and 40 seconds left now let's <laughs> see what this tyrod taylor's made of god damn it uh, <laughs> I'm, t- I'm gonna go oh and 16 this week wow. dude, i'm gonna i'm gonna lose every game wow and you know and and and, and here's the thing too uh i might not have any legs to, to stand up and tell jokes in Vegas this week because the bookies <laughs> going to be coming to look for me. Um, yeah, and, you know, Vegas coming up this week. Mm. Venice coming up this week. Mm. Um, yeah, Vegas is going to be fun. So next next weekend we'll be going from Vegas right on. Uh, when you call. Cool. Uh, so can I do poolside? Yeah, that's happening. Maybe uh, we could try and get you on FaceTime or something like that. I haven't been to Vegas since, man. I went to Vegas, I think, like twice and it was in um, July or something like that, and it was just boiling hot. And I was 118 like, yeah, degrees. Yeah, my God, I go, in the man. shade. This, this is terrible. Yeah, man. it's uh, to me Vegas is a blast. I love playing up there. Um, I love what everything ha- Vegas has to offer for about 36 hours, hmm. and then I'm over it because. You know, you, you, you get off the plane. Actually, I'm going to drive this time because I've been dying for one of those Euros from the Mad Greek and Baker, which is the halfway point. Um, and, uh, you know, you get there and you hit the ground running, man. You're, you're cocktailing, you're gambling, you're up all night, you're playing blackjack, you know, and then you get up the next morning and you go down to the casino and then, you know, you, you play a little more, you hit the pool and then you, you gamble some more and you're drunk and then all of a sudden your liver explodes and, and then you're like, okay, and you can only take so much ding, 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 I mean, you know, it's like about 36 hours of that. And then it's like, we got friends that live in the area, so we'll go visit them or something like that. And our nieces are up there. But it's like, it's, I don't care what the places look like. Once you get in them, they're all the freaking same. And they're a lot of fun. But if you, if you, if anybody's listening, and I don't know how many people go to Vegas, or if anybody's listening that is actually going to be in Vegas this week, come to the show. But what, you where to, where are you at in Vegas? Vegas? You got to tell them where you're going to be. Man. What's up? Uh, I'm at the Drop, which is, a, if you can believe it or not, like a pot shop. Right on. And uh, they do this little cool comedy thing. Uh, I think once a month, and uh, I guess it's a really really good show. I've never done this show there in Vegas. I usually play other places, but uh, it should be cool. So we can all get stoned and go to the White Castle, oh, which is oh. like in the. Uh, <laughs> um, they have a White Castle in Vegas now in the casino. I, I can't remember the. I've been to it a few times. I can't remember which casino because, like I said, they all look the same to me. Mm. But you got to go into the casino like everything else, and it's a White Castle with a full bar, nice. just in case you know the burgers don't give you the massive diarrhea. There's alcohol that you can drink with yeah, them. You're gonna get it no and, matter uh, what. We've got Taco Bell out here now. Actually, they finally opened a, a, a Taco Bell, and they serve beer in the Taco Bell, which is kind of cool. 
you know what it is? It's a little different. This. Like you can walk <laughs> in a movie theater and get a beer. Yeah, <laughs> but good. you know, uh, Taco, like this, do people like Taco Bell over there? Um, I don't know. I, it literally just opened recently, like like months ago, I think, because I only saw it on the back of a bus, you know, like before I was off to Spain about a month or so back. So, Because in my experience being overseas, when you go to a fast food place from America overseas, <clears throat> it tastes different. No, it does taste different. I mean, a lot of it is different ingredients. I mean, the same type of stuff. It's but a it's different not, form of crappy food. Yeah, you know, you know like the sodas and things like that don't taste the same here. Like if you drink Sprite or coke or whatever they don't use the same sugars so it's definitely different um uh, did i just see george costanza from seinfeld playing colonel sanders in a kfc commercial i don't know i, I haven't heard anything about it but i mean it's been a long time since seinfeld and went look, off the air the so i mean you got to take a is that take paper the gig when you can get it paper getting low it can't possibly be getting low but it definitely looked uh, like no, he's him. still getting like a bazillion dollars a month on just residual. He's probably bored then, because who? He's. You he's got to be me. I, <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't have any problem. By the way, the neighbors just got here for the festivities. What is this? They handed me a cocktail. What is it? You're listening to free Mimosa. podcast, free vodka and pizza podcast. Bon Joseph from London, Jonas Garvin calling in from yeah. Los Angeles, California. We're sitting here talking this crap. We're going to take a quick break and we will be back in two <laughs> seconds. I'm going to enjoy this blood orange mimosa. <laughs> two minutes um, left. So. I'm going to drink. So what else is going on in um, in the world, man? I know um, I, we were talking about Richard Gere and all that other nonsense. Um, you guys got legal marijuana in California. People are making lots of money off of that. I was, I was reading that it was failing safety tests or something like that. Marijuana used to be so casual back in the day. You know, you could smoke a joint or whatever and actually, like, do stuff the rest of the day. And now it's like, you know... They're trying to no. Like the shit that they have now is just a coma. Are we, are we on? Are we recording right oh, now? Oh wow! Yeah, we're live, dude. Let's go. So Atlanta just oh, picked okay. the ball <laughs> off. <laughs> um, yeah, the, uh, the the marijuana now. Like I see, the kids today will never understand the struggle that we had when we were kids. Hey, you get the sack, and you got to pick all the stems out. You got to pick all the seeds <laughs> out. You know, and then you you, you got to like, break it all up. Now, dude, it's crazy. I don't smoke pot really uh i will when i'm in vegas uh just because there's white castle um <laughs> can have an excuse <laughs> the, I, I had some friends from new zealand come to visit me a couple months ago right and they're like you can buy marijuana here now and i'm like well i think if you guys have a card or something right right because i know the neighbors could get all the time oh cleveland just scored a touchdown jeremy jones in the room but uh <laughs> anyway so i tell them i'm like hey man my friends are here from new zealand and they need some weed can you go to your little caregiver hmm. and he's like you go to the caregiver i'm like well i can't uh oh and they missed an extra point earlier that's why they only have 18 says 19 but um i said he goes no you just go in there and dude i'm like i felt like i was doing a dope deal mm -hmm. but it was all legit you just walk in and they ask for your driver's license like they do at a liquor store hmm. and then they buzz you into this room and i thought it was gonna be like some skeevy dude Handed me a Ziploc bag of weed. No, come on, it's all professionally like, oh, run out there. It's 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 legit, dude. It's store. it's like a candy store. Yeah. So and they're like all these dips. There's like candies and sodas and and weeds and and they missed the extra point again. <laughs> Focus. <laughs> Stay on track. <laughs> You're deviating. Um, so yeah, it's tied up eighteen eighteen. But yeah, it's crazy, man. You can just and the weed we have now. Um, <clears throat> I don't understand how people can smoke a joint and be like, hey, let's go to a concert. Mm. No. Mm. If I smoke any of this shit they have now, any more than one hit, and I'm just going to lay on a nice cold pile floor and let the world spin for the next six or seven hours and try not to vomit. I was listening to because somebody. They were talking about how this new pot is turning people gay, and there's actually some chemical in it that they're using in it to make it stronger <laughs> that's actually causing men to grow breasts or something like that. I had a yeah, friend yeah, here. Yeah, the movie's called Reaper Madness. No, not. Come on. I had a friend who was here from actually from San Francisco. Him and his wife, um, they uh, are professional. That's what they do. They grow it. 
And uh, I meant to ask them while they were here. They actually did a podcast with us, and I neglected to do so. Maybe I'll get them back on again in the future to hear their thoughts on that. I don't, you know, I don't know anything about any of this new stuff. You, for, you forgot to have the stoners on. Usually it's the other way around. No. They forget to show up for the podcast. No, they were here. I just forgot to ask them about it when they were on the show. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's an interesting time. I know they're trying to legalize a lot of stuff, bring some money into, the, into uh, you know, the states. And, um, but I was hearing somebody talking about, like, is it like Seattle or something? And the people are walking around up there like, you know, zombies, man, because there's just, like, this huge meth, like, crisis that's going on up there. Um, I don't know anything about Seattle. I know there's, like, just a really bad meth problem in like Hesperia and Palmdale and Lancaster, those towns we were talking about, like mm. it's just. And the funny thing is, dude, like, I, I I would rather be around crackheads than tweakers because crackheads will steal your car stereo, right? Tweakers will steal it, like your sock, like one, like anything. They just steal just to steal. Mm. They don't, you know what I'm saying? Like some of them in meth, I've done it a few times. It, I don't care for it. I don't need to be up for three, four weeks at a time, but mm. it's. Uh, I've always preferred cocaine and in uh, half grams or half ounces, whatever you got. Um, <laughs> Too much drugs but, on this yeah, show dude, today. <laughs> tweakers are just awful people, dude. They're just, and they just steal just because if it's not nailed down, they just steal it. Speaking of it's awful people, I was talking to somebody earlier today, man, and they were trying to get me to come to some event. Do meth? They're trying to get me to come to this event in back home in Michigan next summer. You know, someone, someone. Uh, I'm trying to see how I can word this so that I don't offend anybody. You know, I really don't care if I offend them anyway. Why, why should I care? You know, they want me to come to this this fuck. high school thing. You know, they're having a party and everyone from high school is going to be there. And it's like, you know what? I don't care about any of those people from high school. And the people that I did go to high school with that I'm actually, you know, that I'm actually legit friends with, I talk to them anyway. And I see them when I go home. You know, I don't need to... Catch well, that's the beauty 90, of, of social media I is being able to stay in touch without actually having to talk to No, I actually talk to my friends when I go home. You know, I go and hang out, but I don't need to go to a party where there's 98 people that I don't want to see and two that I do. I'd rather just go have lunch with those two. So the messed up part about it, see, I probably shouldn't even have mentioned any of that because it's really not even really the focal point of why, why I was bringing this up. But what I was, What I don't like is two-faced people. And I don't understand why people think you're supposed to either one, forget or two, just not say anything about some of their foul behavior, you know? And it's like, I've from known, high school, you mean? Not even, no, not even high school. I'm talking more recent, you know? It's like, as <laughs> adults, <laughs> last you're, Friday, <laughs> you're talking shit. And then, you know, now, you know, a couple years have passed and I haven't spoken to, you know, this person or that person. And they're all reaching out like, hey, you know, we should kick it. And I'm like, you know, the only kicking would be me and your ass because I don't want to exactly. see you. We're not friends. Why are you hollering at me? Are. You know, it's like. Well, because people are fucking fake, man. Just look at fucking. If, if you look at social media, it looks like everybody has a mansion, a yacht, and a fucking private plane. And, uh, you know, it's just. Yeah, it's. I don't People know, so I don't. I don't me. understand it. But I mean, the thing of it is, is like, just keep it, keep it one hundred with me. If you got something you want to say, say it. But don't, you know, there's no reason to like tiptoe around things or, you know, not approach me the way that you really want to. Step to me, keep it one hundred, and I don't have any problems. You know, just that's that's really what life should really be about because you got all you can start carrying around all this stress you know? keep it 100 keep yeah it nobody 100. who is it mark mark Twain or whoever said that nobody's a good enough has a good enough memory to lie forever <laughs> so you know um yeah I, I i get that too man i get you know people that are all like cool when you're talking to them face to face and then all of a sudden you hear some bullshit they pull mm. and you're like motherfucker and then the thing is too it's like why yeah. like what what do you possibly have to gain they just weak bullshit. ass people. That's why they do it. I know a guy that I used to grow, I grew up with, lived in my neighborhood. He used to always do, you know, some some slick shit back in the day, and I knew it was him because people would tell me it was him, and then I'd be the one that they thought did it, so I'd be getting in trouble. 
And it's like, he was saying some slick shit. So if I ever came across him, you know, I'm going to say something to him. Because, you know, if you're a man, you'll say it to my face. You know, if you ever come back yeah, to Detroit no, I... from Maine, you know, if you up there hiding with your little girlfriend or whatever, and you come back to Detroit, and I say something yeah, to well, you, you're going to say it to my face? Real. He ain't going to say it to my face. Yeah. I never said that. I don't know. You know, fuck out of here with that shit. So I don't like that. And if you got more than one face, you know, just... Keep it to yourself. I don't, I don't have any need for people. You better try to get a role in a Batman movie. Man, it's you like, notice the two face reference I made there? Yeah, right. It's all good. It's all good. But hey, speaking of Michigan, dude, I've never been there. Really? You should come up next summer. We'll go to Michigan. <laughs> I'm actually I've going. Been, like, every other state. Um, I'm actually supposed to be there. I don't know if I'll go in the summer. I might go near the closer to the fall. It's really hot there in the summer, man. It's humid and it's awful. Oh, you're going for Christmas, right? No, I'm going to go. No, I might, I'm going to go try and go for uh, after Thanksgiving. I'm filming this year and uh, uh until like the end of november so i won't won't go for thanksgiving but i'll go after we're done when we wrap but i went for christmas last year and i'm gonna go for the spring or not the spring but the fall i think next year because it's nicer it's not as hot the leaves change you know, well dude so. let me know when you're gonna be there i'll line mm. up i'll see if i can line up a gig mm. and uh and then because uh, i've never been to michigan yeah it's all right, like man. i said the, can, can you got a promise we can hang out with axel foley though Promise me that. <laughs> There's no Axel Foley. Have you been to his pad before? Axel Foley lives where you live. You you need to go. In the... No, he's he's only out here <laughs> when there's problems, like when Bogomil got shot and stuff like that. The Harrow so, Club uh, audit. That... It's out there where you stay. Yeah, man. yeah. Yeah, he's only out here, uh, like, occasionally. Him and uh, ex-president Gerald Ford will go to the strip club, stuff like that. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Touchdown, Carolina. That's what I'm talking about. Too bad uh, there's only see, like... See, there's your new team. You, you mean the, your Carolina Lions? <laughs> is... You wouldn't even have to, like, switch mascots. They're both cats. Yeah. <laughs> so you can just, like... <laughs> it's, so, it's, such a, it's, it's an easy transition for you. Yeah. Did they just miss that field goal? No, oh, the Saints are about to kick one to win the game right here. Well, oh, they did, huh? Wow. The, Saints, the Browns missed two extra points. The Saints and... won 21-18. So oh. I actually got that pick. Did you pick Browns this week? Of course <laughs> I picked the Cleveland the Browns. I figured they were due. Browns. <laughs> they Browns. have a one in three years. <laughs> of course I picked the Browns. Browns will win next week. I'm going to pick them again next week. They win next I'm week. I'm going to laugh. 19 seconds. Left. Look at that dumb shit. Run, dummy. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Well, I'll tell you what, man. Um, the, the cocktails have started flowing r- real good over here. We're podcasting here, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Tune in <laughs> next <laughs> week. And yeah, we will have more and, uh, jibber-jabber for you guys on free and remember pizza. remember the free vodka offer still stands. I'll be in Venice uh, <laughs> at the Townhouse Wednesday night doing the underground comedy. And then Thursday in Vegas at the drop. Any more info you need, go to JonasGarvin.com. That's what's up. We'll catch you guys next week. Peace. Later.